The next comic is somebody who had all his jokes written after the first class. He's very funny. He's going to tell you a little bit too much about his marriage. So a big hand for Mike Gregory. Oh, how's everybody doing? Good. I know what you ladies are thinking. That's my real hair. Go, <laughs> John. <laughs> so uh, I get up this morning, I go down in the kitchen, and uh, I see a box of donuts. I grab a donut, and this thing is stale as anything. I don't know if I should eat it or send it to the Chicago Blackhawks to practice with. <laughs> right, this thing is expired. Rigor mortis has set in on this donut. And I'm about to throw it in the trash, and I see on the box it says, to restore freshness, place in microwave oven for eight seconds. So I try it, I pop it in the microwave. Sure enough, it comes out like a fresh donut. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, it's a miracle. It's a donut miracle. It's like Resurrection Sunday for donuts. So I got to thinking, wouldn't this be great if this worked on people? Right? Picture this. Grandma's in the ER. Beep, 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 beep. She starts to flatline. Beep. Nurse, get me the, 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 the uh, those metal shocky things. It's an HMO doctor. <laughs> Clear! Clear! Doctor, I think we've lost her. Wait, nurse, there's still a chance. Let's pop her in the microwave. <laughs> Eight seconds. Or else you might hear 911, what is your emergency? There's been a terrible accident on the freeway. We need an ambulance right away. And for God's sakes, bring the microwave! <laughs> But microwaves are great. Guys love microwaves. For us, it's like the uh, it's like the duct tape of kitchen appliances. Right? We can we can cook anything from a bowl of soup to a 12 pound frozen turkey in the microwave. Right? That's all we need is a, a microwave and maybe a grill. Right? No no ovens for guys. Girls need ovens, right? And they, they have them ever since they're little kids, right? Remember the easy bake ovens girls had, right? right? We never had an easy bake microwave, right? No, but we did, however, have an easy bake grill. Right, you guys remember this? Easy Bake Grill? It was called Matches. <laughs> you had a book of matches, yesterday's newspaper, little gasoline. <laughs> hey, hey, Petey, let's cook up some hot dogs. Easy Bake Grill. So, um, but the, you know, it's the, the girls, they get everything, they get away with everything. It's not fair, it's a double standard. You know, I'll give you an example. If a guy wants to walk around with no underwear, it's disgusting, right? Come on. But a girl with no underwear, that's hot, right? <laughs> or, or two guys kissing. Man, nobody wants to see that, right? But two girls kissing, yeah, that's sweet, right? <laughs> a guy's walking around with a big hairy back, come on, put a shirt on, buddy. But a woman with a hairy back, yeah, it's nice, right? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I actually like a woman who shaves her back before I did. <laughs> But uh, my wife is uh, Irish and Polish. Uh, I like to say she's half Irish, but all Polish. <laughs> and uh, but it's a nice combination, though, um, because that makes her real, uh, an excellent cook and a really, really good bowler. <laughs> she can make a real mean corned beef and cabbage and a seven ten split. <laughs> but uh, being Polish, sometimes. Um, the puck doesn't quite reach the net, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the minute hand doesn't make it back to 12 o'clock all the time. She doesn't, she doesn't always have all four feet on the ground. <laughs> like the other day, she's telling me about her friend whose husband is cheating on her. And she says, if he wanted to have sex, why did he even get married? <laughs> why indeed? But, uh, I just turned 50 last year, and um, I guess the, the, the body's starting to fall apart a little bit. And all of us guys, uh, you know, at a certain age, start to develop the inevitable man boobs, <laughs> which can be quite fetching. <laughs> but I, I had not realized that I had reached that stage of development until I overheard my wife telling one of her friends how she had gotten to second base. <laughs> I really understood all those sex as baseball references, you know, first base. I think first base and second base I understand, but is third base when I, uh, or it was when she, or when we, 
I, I don't know. <laughs> Third base was always confusing, but we know what the home run is, right? We all know a home run. And of course, the ultimate home run is a grand slam, right? The home run with the bases loaded. And I got to thinking, do I really want to hit a home run with three other guys on base? <laughs> Uh, what would what would be the, the inside the park home run? Yeah, I don't know. Is that like maybe sticks standing up in the closet or something? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, why do we use baseball anyway? Couldn't we use football? Right? Everybody likes football. Uh, what would that sound like? Hey Jim, how was your date last night? Well, I took the opening kickoff down to the thirty, but I had to settle for a field goal. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, one thing that uh, football does have is the hail mary pass and, and pray for the best. And actually, they worked for me the other night. I was praying, please, God, let me have sex, let me have sex. And guess what? I scored! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Only problem was, halfway through, I noticed she's not moving. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, oh, well, this is not all that un unusual, but <laughs> I noticed that she's not breathing either. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And then it hits me. I pop her in the microwave. <laughs>